This is the Samsung 830 series. Now, I've been asked a lot of times to talk about the 830 series, but the cold hard truth was I didn't have one. Now I do. Now I can talk about it. Because the Samsung... Okay, here. Let's start with some context here, guys. Samsung is the world's number one SSD everything. They are doing so many OEM drives. They uh, Okay, when you're Samsung, you actually build every component of the SSD. Nobody else does that. Even Intel. I mean, they have Flash, so they do, they do Flash. Um, they don't do their own controller anymore. Okay, so let's find, let's find other guys. Um, Micron doesn't use their own controller. They use their own Flash, but not their own controller. I mean, you look at guys like OCZ, where they're designing firmwares, and they are working on controller designs and all that, but they don't actually build it. And they don't actually fab flash, they just get huge volume discounts due to their business. So Samsung is the only one that actually builds the entire thing from the ground up in every possible way. What advantages does that give them? Well, number one, it gives them a cost advantage. So they can deliver high performance products at very competitive costs. What other advantages does it give them? It gives them full control of the creative process of creating the drive. So if there's anything that goes well with the drive, Samsung knows who to give the credit to. If there's anything that goes wrong with the drive, there's no one for Samsung to blame. That gives them a vested interest in making sure that everything they do is really good. Because they're like, yeah, there you go. There's no ambiguity about uh, who screwed it up if something goes wrong. This is the desktop upgrade version of their drive, so it comes in a full retail box and includes a whole bunch of really cool stuff. So you've got a Molex to SATA power adapter, a SATA cable, all the mounting screws you could possibly need, whether you're installing it in, uh, actually, well, notebooks will come with all the mounting screws you need. So these will mount the SSD to this, and then they will mount this to your computer. Comes with a copy of Norton Ghost. Cool. So this will allow you to quickly and easily upgrade your existing drive to your SSD comes with their interactive manual, Magician Software and SSD Manual. It comes with a hard copy of their Quick User Manual. Unpa look at this unpacking. It has a guide for what I'm doing. I can follow the instructions on how to do an unboxing. Ahem. Page 4. Unpacking. Check your product box for the following items. Please refer to the back of the package to see the installation kit you have purchased. The illustrations may differ from your actual items. That's pretty much what I do, isn't it? Alright, it also includes nice, solidly built desktop adapter, so you mount your SSD here, you mount your thing to your case, and then even if your case doesn't natively support 2.5-inch drives, you'll have no problem installing it. So, this is an 830 drive. The 830 drive is pretty much as good as it gets out there in terms of performance. It has a 3-year warranty, and it does not have the same disadvantage that a Sandforce controller has, where it performs really well with compressible data. It's doing data compression on the fly and uncompression on the fly when it's writing and reading. What that means is in order to achieve the speeds they've gone for, they need a faster, well, not a faster controller, they need faster flash, and they need to uh, very, very carefully build it and tune it in order to ensure that Sandforce doesn't absolutely blow it away when it comes to compressible data. So a Samsung drive will perform the same regardless of what you're doing on it, compared to a Sandforce drive will perform it significantly better in certain applications and significantly worse in others. Uh, one of the other, oh yeah, this is one of the other things. One of the other things that Samsung has an advantage of with when they're building their own stuff is that they get to keep all the best for themselves. Flash is all about binning. So if you guys don't understand the binning process, we actually have an NCIX Tech Tips episode that's all about binning, what it means, but what it, uh, in a nutshell, it means that they produce a bunch of Flash and cherry pick everything they want, and then anything they don't want, well, that can go to someone else to build USB thumb drives, what do they care? They took the best stuff, they used it in their own products to make sure that their customers get the absolute cream of the crop. That gives you better reliability, it gives you better speeds, and it gives you, well, in terms of, for Samsung, it gives them lower RMA rates and better brand perception, so it's good for absolutely everybody. Um, so there's your Samsung logo, there's your brush metal finish, there's your capacity indication. On the side, you find your standard mounting holes. On the other side, you find your other more different standard mounting holes. And then on the bottom, you find your completely more different than most standard mounting holes, depending on what kind of an output you have. This is also a slim SSD, which is great because it means that you can install it anywhere. Um, some notebook computers only have room for slim SSDs, so there's, a, yeah, there's not that much more on some SSDs. It makes them a little bit thicker, so whoops.
so I almost dropped it, but I did. But it wouldn't have mattered because Flash is very durable and is, uh, can, can handle that. On the back, we find our SATA power connector as well as our SATA 3 6 gigabit per second SSDs. So, anything more different than those standard mounting holes? Depending on what kind of an output you have, this is also a slim SSD, which is great because it means that you can install it anywhere. Um, some notebook computers only have room for slim SSDs, so there's a yeah, there's not that much more on some SSDs. It makes them a little bit thicker. So, whoops, I almost dropped it, but I didn't. But it wouldn't have mattered because Flash is very durable and is uh, can, can handle that. On the back, we find our SATA power connector as well as our SATA 3 6 gigabit per second interface. And I think that pretty much covers it for now. Don't forget to subscribe to Lance Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. And thank you for watching. Uh, moving along, the A30 controller is also one of the fastest controllers in the market and does not rely on compression algorithms to achieve its speed. They use high-speed flash, which they then from their own fabs, and they make sure that they get the highest quality and the fastest speed stuff, and they use their own design and own manufactured controller to build the drive and achieve the best possible performance. By cherry picking everything for themselves, they give themselves an advantage over anyone that is using any sort of a Samsung component that they buy from them in order to integrate into their own solution. So the drive is a slim drive, which means you can mount it in whatever you want, including uh, notebooks that don't accept the slightly thicker drives. And some of them, especially with the way notebook form factors are slimming down these days, don't. It also has all the standard mounting holes, so you got your two on the side, your two on the other more different side, and your four on the other more different bottom. You have a SATA power connector on the back, as well as a SATA 3D, uh, SATA 3 6 gigabit per second data connector here, and these drives are fully capable of using that 6 gigabit per second connection, by the way, as well as your Samsung branding on the top, as well as a beautiful brushed aluminum finish on the top of the drive. So one thing that I wanted to point out is